Dabarusha, Ebra Ketolos Kotoni Bra and the Labrani Katoshe Ketelebenida, Ayakatala Sakata la Katoshe Ketelibaraya, Ambra Kentoloso Koton de Libera and the Libarusha, Zabala Kataba, Zalabara Katada, Zabala Katadaba, Zabara Katadaba, Azale Kotoske and Teliborin Tedeke to Shalabala, Umbra Kentoske and Taba Kata Le Kata. Azale kuton se liba, jale katone berida, jale bada kutone berida, jala bada katone kete liba, himbro kete ne ketoshke ntele bara andala katoshke ntele bara yaba, himbra kento no shoton de berida bale anda, azale katoshke ntele bara ya, rade katoshke ntele bara ya, rade kete ne ketoshke ne berida bala katada bale kata bale, nero shwanda ya bade katala sada bala. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. As we have prayed, so shall we be. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's start what happened on the third day. Today is the third day of our encounter with nine. Hosea chapter 6, verse 2 and 3. Or let's start from verse 1. It says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he has done and he will heal us. He has smitten and he will bind us up. After two days, will you revive us? Someone say that's me. Yes, and on the third day, he will raise us up. Mm -hmm. You have one place that you are going today and it's up. Somebody say that's me. That's me. You have just one place that you are going this evening. Somebody say up. Oh. Somebody say up. Oh. Oh. Somebody say up. Oh. Oh. Father, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. according to your word, set me up in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, set me up for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, set me up for good in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to give you Father, according to your word in Hosea chapter 6, verse 2 and 3, he said, you will set me up on the third day and I shall live in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. Lero shua le bra kinta la shatara bale lero suten libro intekete de bara andala katoshe de de belida zule brigita la shatara bale ya rage kete de kete de she kete de brigita la boshkanda bale ya zale kontus kente li bara ya bale kata azale katoshe ke di bade ya rokoton de liba rokoton de belida rokoton de belida. Father, according to your word, raise everyone praying here today up. Change our level in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lero Shuale Brakin Talashatala Vale. Zelo Koton Zelibro Untedi Baraya Vara. Gara Shatala Vale. Ruade Brihita di Shaton Belida Bari Andale Katoshke and Deli Baraya. Him Rakotoskin Tibi Barade Katala Shatada Bale, Ruade Ketendu Gruntiskin Tibukra in Bale in the Lokotosha Ketele Belida, Him Rakin Talashada Bale, Gala Shatole Brikin Talashadaba, Rado Kotose Kendeli Barande Bala Shatadaba, Ruade Keteli Shatada Bale and Doskin Teli Boro Ketende Varia, Zala Kato Shaleba, Zalabado Keteliba, Zala Kato Shele Belida. Zala bado kete teliba, e jule brigita la jatata da. Rade katone shetene vle inte ketone bra inta daba. La ra keta la shada vale kato de belida. Inze koto shale kata la bade. Ambra kento zile igara da bade. Ya keto suye li baya. Zale koto zye li baya. Zale koto suye li baya. Rade kato shkente de balaya. Father we thank you. Father we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Jude, just one chapter, verse 20, see what is there. Why do we pray in the Holy Ghost? We pray in the Holy Ghost. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. The purpose why we pray in the Holy Ghost is to build yourself up. And I know uh, the day I was in a particular place in Tosa year, and the uh, Holy Spirit bring an illumination upon it. He said, when David, when David stepped up to fight Goliath, those words are not just on, on words of, on, on, of, of, of knowledge that somebody can comprehend. He said, what he's actually doing was building himself, was using words of, the, of heaven. 
We call it tongues. When he was speaking those words, God was changing his level, he was growing. So when he gets to a place that he became bigger than Goliath, and he, as he was speaking those words, Goliath was going down and he was going bigger. So when he gets to a particular place, when he said David ran towards him, because David has bigger, become bigger than him. Amen. Why do we pray in the Holy Ghost? We pray in the Holy Ghost to be bigger than our enemy. Amen. Why do we pray in the Holy Ghost? We pray in the Holy Ghost to be what? Bigger than our enemy. And I want you to pray today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch my mouth with a cold of fire. Let them, let, give me an heavenly language. Give me heavenly language. The language that the enemy will not be able to comprehend, understand, or level up with. The language that will change the dynamics of who we are communicating to heaven. The code, when the military has a code, so the enemy will not understand. I want you to pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, give me the language of, baptize me afresh in the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray right now. Oh Lord of heaven, baptize me afresh. Give me a fresh tongue of fire. 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 Let clan to seke debru unde libra and the lake to shenebri davala. Give me a fresh tongue of fire. Gata le shoton debri hita la balakata. Izule hida belu swandeli abadaya. Rade ketele shekete de bolu shuadaya. In the Lushua, in the Boshua, in the Baria, in the Baria, Zele Koton Shalabare, O Lord of heaven, touch my mouth with a coal of fire, give me a fresh tongue of fire. La Cato Shalebra and the Likoto Shalebri in Tarabare, Radeke Telisha Tonde Belide, in the Luke Teli Katana Cato de Belida Bada, Azule Hidebe, Azule Hidebe, Azule Hidebe, Azule Hidebe, Zuale Katosha, Zuale Katosha, Zuale Katosha, Embraken Telida, Embraken Telida, Embraken Telida, Embraken Telida, Embraken Telida, Zale Kotosha, Zale Kotosha, Zale Kotosha, Zala Katosha. In Bracotosa, in Braketosa, Zale Caraba, the Contosi, the Telibra, the Telidaba, Zolu Crentushala, Braketa, the Lassa Dalavale, Raja Kentelisho to Debelidaba, and Brakin to Los Juan, Libre, he the Libo, and Brakin to Nesha Telebalusha Lavala, Gala Shoton de Belidaba, in Brakin to Los Juan, Libre, in Talasha Taraba, Raja Ketelek and to Debrekita Lavala. Bring you doing yourself up in the most holy place. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Jale kide hida ba. Jale heteli kete belida. Jale heteli kete le belida. Jale heteli kete le belida. Ezule kinto shukele brehita la bale. Rua de ketoza. Zua le ketoda. Zua le ketoda. Zua le ketoda. Zale katoche kedi brakenta la shalabala. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift up your hand and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Say, God, we thank you for this evening. We give you all the glory. This is the day that the Lord has made. He said we should rejoice and be glad in it. Zolu brehita le shataraba. Engatu ze le shatarabra. Imbro kintali shatarabala. Father, we worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Tonight we're going to start praying on encounter with destiny through prayer. Encounter with destiny through prayer. In life, if something did not happen to you, you will never experience some things. Or put it this way, in life, until some things happen, there are some part of God that you will never see. Life is bigger than you. Life is bigger than you. And we're going to use a story of somebody in Judges, the book of Judges, chapter 6. We're going to start from verse 11. Or maybe we should start from verse 1. Before then, the children of Israel, they turned their back against God, and God made, gave them as a slave to a particular country. And after they realized themselves, they started crying. Judges, please. Chapter 6. Judges, chapter 6. 
Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, answer will rush at you. Amen. Tonight, no matter what you are getting yourself in for before we start, may the Lord make you ready for the evening like this. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us start with Judges chapter 6 from verse 1, please. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of they the Lord. Live, yes. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian mm -hmm. seven years. Mm -hmm. And in the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. Mm -hmm. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds. Yes. Holds. And so it was when Israel had sworn that sworn that the Midianites came up and the Amalekites and the children of the east, even they came the up. because of time. And Israel was greatly impoverished, impoverished yes. because of the Midianites yes. and the children of Israel cried on They cried. That's it. Let me tell you something. Listen, I don't know where you are right now. I don't know where you are watching me from. There's a word that gone out yesterday that six hours, seven hours, somebody will see you. You have the kind of person. Contact us and God will change your level in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is nothing that is impossible in your time of prayer. There is nothing that is impossible on the altar of prayer. Those who can pray can change the course of life. There is nothing that is impossible on the altar of prayer. Those who can change, who can pray, can change the course of life. You can determine where life takes you or where it takes life. If you are a prayerful person, they were impoverished. They were beaten. They, they lost their, 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 their lifestyle. They were nothing to be, you know, to, to be identified with. But the Bible said in Judges chapter 6, verse 6b, it said, They cry. Somebody said, They cry. They cry. <laughs> Why do we pray? We pray to cry. To cry. We pray to cry unto God. Say, God. And hand has come to all this situation of my life. I don't know where you are, but if you can pray with us tonight, there's going to be an encounter. And that encounter will set you for life. Someone said that to me. That's me. I want you to stand up. Lord, empower me to pray. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. He said, I will, I will pour upon the eyes of Israel he said, the, the spirit of grace and supplication. Oh Lord of heaven, empower me to pray. Oh Judges chapter 6, verse 6. Oh Lord of heaven, empower me to pray. Are you believing God for an increase in your work or for a turn around in, 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 in whatever you do? The Bible never said whatever you do, you will cry. It said whatever you do, you will prosper. So what then is causing you not to be prosperous? We are praying right now, oh Lord, according to your word, we stand that there must be a change. According to your word, we stand that there must be a change. Wherever the enemy has been ravaging your life, my life, the life of your children or your, or your wife or the life of, 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 of your work, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let there be a supernatural turn around. Make sure you are praying. Don't look at what you are seeing. Don't look at the screen. Just turn the voice on and begin to pray. The Bible said the children of Israel cry. They cry. They cry. They cry. They cry. It is by crying that the Lord comes down. It is by crying that the Lord changed the level. It is by crying to God that the Lord break protocol and look your and look out for you among the crowd and change your level. The woman with the usual blood tried it. The children of Israel tried it. You can do the same. Your life can change if you can pray. Your life will change if you can pray. Your life will turn around if you can pray. That's why we say tonight. 
and hell that has come to every frustration, to every sickness, to every incantation, to everything that the enemy has planted. Matthew 15 verse 3, he said, the tree that you have never planted by my heavenly father shall be uprooted. We stand here tonight and we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord of heaven, turn the situation around us. If you are just joining us on Facebook or on YouTube, we are praying using Judges chapter 6, verse 1 to 6 to pray. In verse 1, the children of Israel did wrong, but they and God put them in the hand of their enemy. They were impoverished. Their life goes down. But in verse 6, the Bible said they cried. They cried. They cried. They cried. He said, when I cry, the Lord, when I cry, the Lord, when I cry, the Lord will turn things around. He said, this I know what the Lord is with me. There is no situation that is irreversible. Every situation is reversible by faith. Our Father, Mr. Mirko said that. There is nothing God cannot do. If you can pray about it, God can turn it around. Are you sick in your body? Is your finances sick? Is your marriage sick? Is your spiritual life sick? If you call the Lord, we turn around the situation. La black intellectual cotonde behindala ezule 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 baraken to cotoni imrekenteli kata bale ketende kenteli la ambraken tala shala bale ga brade kata le branco to sheli bara zale branco to sheli beli la ba ingara imbrake rabose kentele brake tele brake tele beli la. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me tell you something. What you have not seen change is what you are not ready to change. No, that's wrong. What you have not seen change is what you are not ready to see change. Change is on the platform of prayer. I heard my father, Bishop Diego, preaching today. You know, he said, it's not enough that you discover. He said, without the word in your hand, you cannot work wonders. And he continued. He said, without prayer, wonders can never be seen. You can't find the word, but as you pray, engagement of the word of God is what turns your life into supernatural. You know, this is, these are the things that we have practiced. We have seen it. He said, our house are turned. <laughs> Acts chapter 1, please. Is it verse 3? Acts chapter 1. Start from verse 1. You cannot see results just reading the Bible. You will see results putting the Bible into work. Mm. Yes. He also presented himself. Yes. Alive after his suffering. Yes. By many infallible. Infallible proof. Yes. Being seen by them. Yes. Therefore, forty days. Yes. And speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom. Verse of one. God. We start from verse one. Verse one. At one. Verse one. The former account I made. Yes. Old Theophilus. Yes. Of all that Jesus began so he, both to do uh, and teach yes. unto the day in which he was taken up mm -hmm. after he through the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, what are we talking about here today? That when you pray, God will turn things around. Let me show you a scripture. Psalm 56 verse 9. When I cry out to yeah. you, yes. then my animals will turn back. So, is that, no, put it up. When I cry, my you know, Anything that is not godly is devilly. If there's any word like that, you know, English is not uh, grammar, it's what is understanding, right? <laughs> Anything that does not look like God is look like the enemy. Psalm 118, verse 1. Oh, the Lord is good and his mercy and the other. God is not a bad God, devil is a bad devil. So, everything that you are experiencing that is not godly is devilly. Put it like that. So, we're gonna pray. He said, when I cry, shall my enemy turn back. So when you don't cry, your enemy will max pressure on you. He said, this I know, that, that, that means it can never be changed. It is by crying that enemy turns. It is by crying that enemy comes. Oh, Lord of heaven, hey, fight my battle. 
O Lord of heaven, yes. fight my battle. O Lord of heaven, fight my battles. An end has come to my cry. You know, devil does not care about your secret car in Christ when you yell, when you scream at him. Say, no man, in the name of Jesus, stand up on your feet and begin to pray. Oh Lord of heaven, fight my battle. 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 Your battle does not is not being won because you are a Christian. Your battle is being won because you have grown. You have grown. You understood and you put into practice. Sir. You are praying, oh Lord of heaven. Oh Lord, fight my battle. He said, when I cry, shall my enemy turn back. So if you don't cry, they stay with you. No, they will put you in sickness. They will make you to leave your job. They will make you to separate from your family. They will make you to cry. Anything that the enemy has planted in your life that is not planted by God. It is by pride that things turn around. There is nothing that is too hard for God to do. But everything is hard when you have not prayed. It is true prayer that things change. Oh Lord of heaven, fight my battle. Oh Lord of heaven, fight my battle. Lehu Shatan le brachin tala shatan le baraya. Rade belinda. Rade keteliba. Rade keteliba. Rade keteliba. Rade keteliba. Rade keteliba. Rade tala baraka to shere bale kata da bale kato le bala. Rade to rabote keteliba rake tala brako to. Arako to le brako to da bale kato le bali kaba. Ezule brachin tala balosh. Ezule benti sheketeliba raya. Rake tala kata da. Jale kato sheketeliba la. Rake tala sheketeliba rako to sheketeliba raya. Rake tala brake tala shala bale brake tala. Rade keteli shuko to le balosh. E brake to lo bra. Oh Lord, fight the battle. As many that are connected this evening, wherever you are, it does not matter. Lord, we fight your battle. Lord, we fight your battle. God, we fight your battle. Lereke telu shala bale katala bale katala. Rake teli preto seke teli beliada. Rade ke teli preto seke teli brake tala. Rade kato de brake tala brake tala bale katala bale kato shere beliada. Rocket to the Braco to the Lever Hitala Baro Catala Valley, Rocket to the Lever to Secretary Barale Catala, Rocket to Sule Brihintala Shataraba, Zale Brihintelisha de Benidaba, Rocket to the Shere Valida, Zale Brakin Telisha Cotone Valley, Rocket to Los Sotiva, Zale Proco to Leverida, Zale Proco to Leverida, Zale Kenteli Baraya, O Lord of Heaven. Fight my battle, fight my battle, fight my battle, fight my battle, every battle, family battle, earthly battle, friendly battle, financial battle, sickness battle, 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 that will make people to doubt if I ever serve God, the battle that will make people to doubt if I ever, if I ever am a covenant worker, I mean the battle that will fight for me, that will put the enemy at bay. The battle that will make the Pharaoh to be drawn inside the Red Sea. I mean the battle that will make all the enemy of my Daniel to replace me in the lion's dells. The battle that will make my enemy to be surprised because the fire cannot consume me. The battle that will make my, 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 my hammer to be hung on the gallow tree. I mean the battle that will make every of my enemy to bow. Oh Lord, fight my battle. Oh Lord, fight my battle. Oh Lord, fight my battle. Rakin telusha to the belida. In zule beli katala shasala. Engre tu se liba. 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 Zele hinde beluda, zale pronto sheketelia, zale pronto to sheketelia, raketa la shatabale. La raketa lo shuande raketa la shatabale. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. What happens when we pray? That's the question. What happens when we pray? 
You know, people don't pray because they don't know what happened once they pray. Amen. The big question, what happened when we pray? Exodus chapter 3. We're going to go back to that, Judges chapter 6. When they, when they cry, something happened. But let me give you an example of Moses. When the children of Israel were crying. You know, when I did my personal study, if I don't find it in the Bible, it was when the children of Israel cried. Maybe we should start from there. Exodus chapter 2, the last two verses. There are some things you are believing God for right God now. Not knowing groaning. that your Pharaoh has sat on it. Read, man. And God heard their groaning. And the Lord, so, groaning is word that goes straight to heaven, that commands God's attention. Groaning. G-R-O-A-N-I-N-G. Groaning. Groaning prayer. And you know, troop, we groan it. We grow by prayer. Romans chapter 8. Groaning a spiritual bathroom that leads human body to go to heaven and command God's attention. Mm. You are what you are here to see is what you are not ready to see. I will say it again. What you are yet to see, the miracle that you are aiming to experience. Oh, first John chapter 1, verse 1, please. See what is there. <laughs> you know, some people are waiting right now. If you wait, Bishop Enemo said you will waste. Those who wait will waste. You don't wait to sit here happen, you stand up to make things happen. First John chapter 1, verse 1. See how John put it. That which was from the beginning. That which from the beginning. Which we have heard. We have heard it. We have seen with our eyes. We have seen with our eyes. We have looked upon. We have looked upon. Our hands are and down. our hand. Whatever that you have no hand do is not yours. Whatsoever that you have not hand do is not yours. You know, people don't know. Giving your life to Christ does not make the difference. But until, until Mark 16 verse 20 becomes the order of your day, you are not a believer. He said, God was working with them, eh? confirming his own work. Until God confirmed his word in your life, you have not tried. Why do people backslide? Because they don't see God. <laughs> and God, you can't find God sitting down. You find God by groaning. Mm. You find God by groaning. You can't go far if you are not a Christian that grown. Especially right now. COVID-19 has been able to prove to everybody that we need to grow. They will mock your Christianity. Many people are mocking right now. They say, what happened to all the church? They, they, can't they see? It's a sign of money. Growth, you, know, you know, mocking. But you know what happened? Until people mock you, God will not make you. And for God to make you, you must grow. Lord, take this garment of shame away and clothe me with the garment of glory. Lord, take the garment of shame away. People have been asking you, they say, where is your God? They say you go to church and fast and pray, but there is nothing to show. Until there is something to show, you can never become a show. Until there is something to show, you can never become a show. Oh, Lord of heaven, remove the garment of shame and clothe me with the garment of glory. Is somebody praying? Oh, Lord of heaven, I stand amazed in your presence and I decree, Lord, and hand has come to every shame of my life. And hand has come to every shame of my life. And hand has come to every shame of my life. Remove the garment of shame and clothe me with the garment of glory. Remove the garment of shame and clothe me with the garment of glory. It is time. The time is now. I'm tired of being, being, being sympathized with by the people who don't know Jesus. I'm tired of being supported by people who don't believe in my God. But right now, I'm ready. I am ready. I am ready to press towards the mark of high calling because I know when I cry, shall my enemy turn back. When I cry,
Turn my enemy turn back. Let the enemy of my finances, let them turn back. Let the enemy of my family, let them turn back. Everything that is mocking my destiny, whatever that is mocking my faith, mocking my salvation, whatever the enemy has put around me to silence, to reduce, to cut me down in short. Don't I call for right now by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of shame be removed. Let God prove yourself in my life. Let the people know that I serve you. He brought in to Zule Baraket Alashatabaleya in Zule Ketendaya in Zule Ketendaya in Zule Ketendaya and Galadon de Belinde is an encounter. Is an encounter. It's not a YouTube video. It is not a Facebook live. This is an encounter of destiny. This is an encounter of destiny. This is an encounter of destiny. Are you here? Do you want to see difference in your life? Do you want to break through? Do you want to break forth? Do you want to break out? Do you want to change the name of your family? Do you want to bring some things around and leave obscurity and come to the limelight and leave the begging realm into the giving realm and leave the realm of darkness into the realm of light and leave the realm of silence into the name of announcement, I want you to know until you pray, nothing's happened. If you want to see anything happen, you can start prayer. Prayer is the key that starts the mortal engine of your life. Until the guy starts, motion is not in place. Until there is motion, there cannot be a movement. Until there is a movement, there cannot be a progress. Until there is a progress, there cannot be a celebration. Do you want a celebration? You need move progress. Do you want a progress? You need a movement. Do you want a movement? You need a start, a change of story. That's what you are believing God for. That's what you are praying for. You shall have whatsoever you pray. You are a product of what you pray. You will become what you say. You are a product of what you pray. You will become what you say. A change of story. A change of story. An encounter with destiny. A change of story. An encounter with destiny. A lepronti de neketetika gabara. In Zule Berida. 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 Oh Lord, I refuse to be in debt. Oh Lord, I refuse to be barren. Oh Lord, I refuse to be without job. Oh Lord, I refuse to be crippled. Let the God just be processing stagnation. Promote me. Change my level. Let men, let the word of man, let men celebrate me. Let my involvement yield increase. Let my increase turn to abundance. Let my brother bring glory. Zale produce liver. And Liron Sunya Beliaba. Zale Hinda. Him Rokenta. Him Rokenta. Him Rokenta. Zebra Kenta. Zebra Kenta. Zale Katale Katoshe Ketelekete de Belida. Izule Belida. Izule Belida. Izule Belida. Izule Belida. Izule Belida. Izule Belida. Zale Kentozwa. La Brakenta Laya. Your position in prayer time will determine your position in time of celebration. If you are quiet, you will not be able to speak. How you position yourself in the time of prayer, you determine how God sees you that drag your answer. Oh Lord, I refuse to seek. I refuse to be in the position the enemy has put me. The Lord said in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, He said, I'm seated in heavenly places. Far above. We have principalities and power. Be under my feet. Therefore, I pray. Sickness, you cannot come near me. Begging, you cannot come near me. I refuse to leave the world the way I can make, make it. I refuse to be in the same position. Lord, the month of May is going. There must be a change. God is the one that initiates it. If you desire it, God initiates change. If you desire it, God will initiate change. If you desire it, God will initiate change. 
If you desire it, you can never see a change that you don't desire. You desire a change of story on healing. You can get it now. Remember Psalm 56 verse 9. When I cry, shall my enemy turn back. The turning of your enemy is a function of your crying. The turning of your enemy is a function of your crying. The turning of your enemy is a function of your crying. If you don't cry, your enemy will not leave you. Every strange hand that is mounting pressure on your life, oh Lord of heaven, cut them off. Mm. Every strange hand that is sitting on your health, oh Lord of heaven, Cut them off. Libra Giandos, Libre Kentale, Libre Kentalia, Ale Prontu Zelisha, Ale Brocoto de Berida, Zelua, 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 Rakendova, 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 in the Legendalia, in the Legendalia, Zolo Brakenta, Zolo Brakenta, Zolo Brakenta, Zolo Brakenta. Zolo Brakenta, Zolo Brakenta, is a legate deca, is a legate deca, is a legate deca, is a legate dea. Make sure you are praying, make sure you are praying. That is the only lifeline that you have. That is the only thing that you have. When you pray, things will change. When you pray, things will turn. Even if you are not praying for yourself. Pray for your children, not to experience what you are experiencing. Pray for your children, not to go through what you are going through. Pray for your children, not to live a short life that you are living. God must bring a change, but you must pray. God must stretch his hand, but you must pray. God must make things happen, but you must step in. Your presence determines God's attention. I will say it again. Your presence will determine God's attention. You can never command attention from heaven until you are present. It was when Samuel was there. That was when David can never be killed. When they, all this army of Saul came to kill him, the Bible said Samuel was there present. Oh, David could not be killed. Regardless of any attack onto your destiny, onto your family, if you can pray, things will change. If you can pray, Things will change. Oh Lord of heaven, I refuse to die like my father. I refuse to die like my mother. I refuse to be penniless like my parents. A change of story. A change of story. A new life of destiny. A, a change of story. Lord, begging hand in my family as a result of this prayer. Oh Lord, begging hand in my family as a result of this prayer, by this prayer, a turn around. Lila bashata la brakenta la satada balaya bada. Lero sute liya baya. Lero suandie brikenta la satada bala. La rabosha, la rabosha, la rabosha. Barikantolia, barikantolia. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Ah. I don't know who is looking at me right now. I'm not only speaking, I don't know who is watching. But I want you to know whatsoever that takes prayer away from you, take results away from your life. Especially if you are a Christian, you have signed into war. <laughs> Go and read Revelation chapter 12. When the dead, when the dragon could not touch Jesus, he said he's going to make war with the sea, the remaining. Once you give your life to Christ, you have given your life into trouble. The devil will go after you. The only exemption to the rules in this war, so for as many that have given their life to them, God made them power to become the Son of God. But every son must grow, and you grow through the altar of prayer. Through the altar of prayer. Let me show you a scripture. Why do we pray? You are praying for one thing, not for yourself. If you don't, listen, listen, this is this stuff, write it down. If you don't live the life that you're supposed to live, you will cause trouble for those around you. Maybe in the realm of the spirit, you're supposed to own an hospital, or own a nurse practitioner, or no, old people's home, and you are just like RM. 
you will cause trouble in the hospital. Maybe God has made you to become a doctor, a PhD or that. You now settle with undergrad. You will cause trouble wherever you want. Why? Let me tell you something. The future, you can never silence the future. Future, you can't silence future. Why do we pray? You are praying for God to provoke you, for God to catapult you, for God to launch you into your next level. It's called anointing for next level. First Chronicle place, chapter 14, sub chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. I want to open your eyes to something tonight. First Chronicle, look at it. In verse 9, it says, Now Jabez, now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. According to heavenly standard, this brother called Jabez, Jabez was not his name. They call his name celebration. But his mother said, Because of the situation that we're right in his, his bed, I changed his name. Look at how it was described. He said, Jabez was more honorable. What is it that is stealing your honor? Oh, Lord of heaven, give me back my honor. Oh, Lord of heaven, give me back my honor. I refuse to be called Jabez again. I refuse to be called... You know, you have to own, if you don't know what belongs to you, you will settle for less. Write it just like that. We don't have, we don't expect a lot of people online because this prayer is for some set of people. But if you like some people, you can share and invite them. Mm. If you don't know what everyone has kept for you, you will settle for crumbs. Jabez, according to the so it's filed in Evo's website, www.destin.com. When they check the name of this guy, he is an honorable person. He has honor all around him, but they change his name. Mm. Father, whosoever that is trading my honor for shame and hell has come tonight, Amen. I take back my honor. <laughs> oh, Lord of heaven! Whosoever that is trading my honor for shame, whatsoever that is trading my honor for shame, and hell has come tonight, I take back my honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I take back my honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I take back my honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I take back my honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Take back your honor. Make sure you are praying. Take back your honor. Don't be relaxed, don't relax, don't relax. Open your mouth and pray. What you say is what evil confirms. Oh Lord, whatever that is trading my honor for shame. Today and hell has come to you. I take back my honor. I am an honorable person. I am not a jabez. I am an honorable person. I am not a jabez. I am an honorable person. I am not a jabez. A change of story. A, decoration, a new decoration in destiny. A change of story. A new decoration in destiny. Oh Lord of heaven, I take back my honor. I take back my honor. I take back my honor. I don't know who has called you, but you can call God. I don't know who has called your name. I don't know where your name has been called, but you can call upon God. The Bible says in the book of Acts, it says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. I don't care the proclamation of your father. I don't care the proclamation of your mother. I don't know what the government has called you. I don't know what your uncle has said. I don't know what your wife has named. Whatever Jebel that has been given to you, it does not matter. If you can pray, things will change. If you can pray, things will change. Prayers changes things. Lerusha barake those who pray are then. I've said it before and I'll pray again. It is not about a gender. Those who pray are men. Those who pray are men. If it's a woman that is praying, you watch. 
you are a man. If it's a man that you pray, God bless you. Oh Lord of heaven, I refuse to receive Jabez as a name. I turn it around. Whatsoever that is threatening my, my honor for shame. And hand has come. Today, I take back my honor. 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 There is a financial honor. There is a marital honor. There is a you know, health honor that you will never visit us with again. By the power in the name of Jesus. If you can pray, things will change. If you can pray, things will change. If you can pray, things will change. Little Sambale came to Zule Himbalayaba. Rabale Catala Maro Shatanabala. Little Shatanabala Manabala. Lareba Shotanabala. Little Swate Brancatala Bado Catalabale. Zale Brancos of the Catalabas. I take back my honor in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I take Lara Cato Shelebre Hitala Baro Shanabale. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's go back to that scripture again. First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 9. I want to show you a mystery. I will read it again. And now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Look at that mother. She never called any of her brother's name. It was this particular guy. Because in the realm of the spirit, the woman have the mothers have capacity to know. Because the, on, on, on the people call when they call it, I showed them, they knew. But the enemy used her mouth to destroy her own destiny. Someone say, God forbid. God forbid. Let me tell you something. Thank God for parental blessing. That's all what we also call parental causes. Amen. <laughs> Go and look at the story of our Noah when he caused his, his, his son. <laughs> this woman called his son Jabez. But look at what happened. I want to show you the power of responsibility. And Jabez called on God of Israel. No matter what they call, you call upon God. Romans chapter 10, verse 13, please. No matter where your name has been, they've sent your name to any part in Africa. Pay some people to be chanting evil against your name. For you to, let me listen. Look at the pattern in your life. In your family, your sister died, your father died, this died, that died, and now you are visiting the hospital every day. Devil have marked you, but let me tell you something. That is a sign that they have, is a sign of Jabez's mother calling what? Jabez's name. But let me tell you something. If you can take responsibility, you call upon God. For whoever calls Who also ever call upon the name of the Lord. Shah. That's all we need. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Safety belongs to God. Pain is not of God. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. The horse is prepared for the days of battle, but victory belongs to God. And if God does not build the city, the builder labor in vain. Psalm 127, verse 1 to 3. <laughs> I want you to know, you have to call upon God. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Your safety is in the hand of God. Your change, your story is in the hand of God. But you must pray. You are praying to the Lord, I'm calling upon you. Change my name. That's the prayer. Lord, I don't have money to give to Abbas. I don't even have money to give to a pastor. But I have a mouth to pray to God. I don't have the money to pay men. But I have a mouth to pray to God. Jabez does not pay a pastor. Neither does any Jabez pay an abbalist. Jabez does not call upon men. He called upon the name of the Lord of Israel. If you call upon God, your story is coming. There's going to be a knock on the door. In the next seven hours, I mean the next 12 hours, there whatsoever that belongs to you that has been sat upon by the enemy, God will unseat your enemy Amen. and give you what belongs to you. God will unseat your enemy and give you what belongs to you. Thou best call upon the name of the Lord. Romans 13 verse 13, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Safety belongs to God. When God is involved, story will change. I want you to pray. Oh, Lord of heaven, change my name. Turn my story around. We have 10 more minutes. Turn my story around. Turn my story around. Turn my story around. Everything 
that you have given to me that the enemy wants to turn around. God gives the Jabez. God gave him honor, but his mother turned it around. I don't know who has turned it, but I will talk to God who turned things around. I am turning to God who turned things around. God that turned the day to night. The same God turned light to abundance. The same God turned small to abundance. That same God will turn your story. He will turn things around. He will turn the devil for your favor against your enemy. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Push some more. 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 You are about to break through. Remember, it's your breakthrough month. Remember, it's your time to break through. They will not understand. He said, You shall not see rain, neither shall you see wind. But this ditch shall be full of water. You shall not see rain, nor shall you see wind. But this ditch shall be full of water. They don't know where you are praying. They don't know where you are fasting. But they will not deny your result. You shall not see wind, neither shall you see the head. I can feel it all, Lord of heaven. It is time for the celebration. Your name is changing. Put some more. 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 Lady Kanta. Imro Kentaya. Lura Ketabaya. Lava Raketeleva. Devo Raketalava. Ayaka Tende. Ayaka Tende. Lila Satande ya, ille rusu andala braketa la ya, he zuli andaya, he brokenta la shatala baleka tala baleka tosha, imblentuzia la, rabele ya, rakenda ba, 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 yaleka tosha, yaleka tosha, yaleka tosha, yaleka tosha. I refuse to be called Jabez. I am honorable. I refuse to be called Jabez. I am honorable. I refuse to be called Jabez. I am honorable. I refuse to be called Jabez. My name is changing. My name is changing. My name is changing. I refuse to be called Jabez. I have honorable. I refuse to be called Jabez. Lila Shatana Balaya Katana. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh my God. If I say I should continue the way it's coming on me, we will not leave here tonight. But I want us to finish these particular verses of Jabez's story. Amen. Amen. Jabez, well, let me tell you something. As I said yesterday, excuse gets you out of the list of people that will succeed. Hey, because I was, let me tell you something. I live in the United States of America. I live in Oklahoma right now. Why, you are, why am I still praying like this? Let me tell you something. I know the evil traces that works in my father's house. I know the limitation in my mother's house. Let me tell you something. The, the, if every man can discover DNA, that they can trace if you are a father or a mother of your child, who tells you <laughs> that the blood of your mother, of your family, of your father's house and mother's house are not in your blood? The devil that is trading people destiny does not need a visa. If I have not prayed, if you know me at all, if you ever know me at all, if you ever know not me at all, you will know where all my siblings are. Why am I the only person here? And right now, why are we praying like this? The future, you have never come near the future. The future, you have never perceived the same the way God is taking you to. You have to get to the food. You, have, you don't know the length, the breadth. You, you have never come to 1%. The future is still far. Limitation is what you put there 
there is nothing like that. There is nothing called limitation. It's what you put there. They gave Jabez a name, but you come upon the name of the Lord. Look at what happened. What did they say? He said, oh, that you what? That you bless me. Oh, that you bless me. Thank you. Oh, that you bless me. When God blesses you, you will not take what doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Do you know why people steal? Do you know why you lie? You lie because you lack. I write it just like that. Lying is provoked, but you can never see somebody that lie that don't lack. If you are your own CEO, that people report you. Why must you lie? Lie. Where is that in the Bible? Somebody said, I catch you. I heard somebody said that. I will show you. Proverbs 30. Oh, I wish you have time. Let's start from verse 4. Proverbs 30. Any prayer point without a scripture point is not a prayer. <laughs> God bless my father, Bishop David Ayebo, and my father, Apostle John Suleiman. Any what's that? Okay. Proverbs chapter 30. Let's start reading from verse 7. Two things I request of you. Two things I request of you, Lord. Me not. Yes? Before I die. Before I die. Remove falsehood and lies from me. Remove falsehood lies from me. Give me neither poverty. No nor what? Nor riches. Nor riches. Feed me with the food. Yes. Alluded to me. Yes. Lest I be fully. Yes. And deny you. And deny and you. And say, mm -hmm. who is the Lord? Yes. Or lest I be full. Yes. And still. Yes. And profoundly. You see that? Lord. <laughs> According to the scholar, they said Solomon was not the one that wrote this particular chapter of Proverbs. He said, it's not going to, but whoever writes it doesn't matter yet. He said, Lord, if you don't give me what I need, I will steal. And anybody that steal is a thief. And thieves are liars. Why must you pray for God to bless you so you will not lie? Lying, Lying demeans you, it belittles you, it sends you into extinction. It makes you to lose your respect, your dignity. It makes you to come below men. Every liar are less than human. If God blesses you enough, you will not need to lie to your boss when you know you are going to go and take your children. You say you lie that you want to go and go for an appointment. Because you know you will not allow you. On a Sunday, they will tell you to come to work. And you're supposed to be in church. And you will not begin to lie. I'm sick, I need to stay at home. And you are not sick. Jabez said no. Oh Lord, bless me. Amen. Oh Lord, bless me. Amen. Mm. Oh Lord, bless me. It does not. It says bless me and and bless me indeed. You know what that means? <laughs> Let's look for the if you can find it, the message version of it. Oh Lord, bless me indeed. Ah. It means give me a blessing that will not be hidden. Mm. The blessing that people can see. Amplified version, message version, or NIV version. Let's see how it was, it was, it was narrated there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh Lord of heaven, bless me indeed. Oh, okay. Jabez was a better man than his brother, the man no, of verse 10, verse 10, verse 10, verse 10. His mother had named him Jabez. Yes. A Say in a painful birth, I bore him in great pain. Jabez yes. prayed to God, yes. to the God of Israel. Yes. Bless me. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless mm -hmm. me. Yes. Give me land. Yes. Large tax of land. Tracts of land. Amen. That, because of time. Lord, bless me indeed. Lord, give me a blessing that people cannot deny. You know, when you are blessed, you can buy a house. But when God bless you indeed, you have houses. When you are blessed, you can pay your car loan. When you are blessed, you can pay your mortgage. But when God bless you indeed, you don't have your car payment. You don't have a what? You don't have a mortgage. Hey! When God bless you, you have a very good paid job. 
But when God bless you indeed, you will pay salam. Hey! Oh, Lord of heaven. The one that created heaven and earth, bless me indeed. Change my story. Get me away from the list of people that manipulate. Because anyone that's not blessed will manipulate. Get me away from the list of people that, that, that can never go straight. Because if you are not blessed, you will be going calling. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless me indeed. Let's pray that prayer. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Let me be the person that breaks the rules in my family that blind. Oh, wait. This is not a silent prayer. Don't deny yourself. Open your mouth wide. Psalm 81, the Lord said, Ah, 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 ah. Your husband cannot pray for you like your wife do. Your children cannot pray for you like your children pray for your for your for, can you, like you pray for your family. You can't pray for anybody. Pray for yourself. If you don't come out, you can't help others. That's why you have to pray. Oh Lord, help me indeed. Bless 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 me indeed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we round up tonight, one more prayer. One more prayer, everybody. One more prayer. One more prayer. Bless me indeed. And like my territory. And your hand will be with me. And your hand will be two prayer in one. And your hand will be with me. That you will not keep me. That you will keep me from evil. That I may not cause pain. Did you see that? Write this down. If you are not blessed, you will cause pain. Do you know why your husband disrespect you? It's because you are not bringing money in. Do you know why your wife looked down on you? You are nothing but a parasite. Anyone who is not contributing is a pain. Do you know when somebody has a, 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 a maybe he break his bone or anything? If they, according to the, uh, to the, to the people, what's the name of the doctor who can do bone? I don't know. When somebody look, maybe you have a pain in your hand. You will, anytime you have pain, there is a disjoint within whatever the pain is and your entire body. That place now becomes what? Fracture. That place becomes heavy. Right? Yep. So, what that, what do you call it? Chiropractor. So, once maybe you, something happened right now to your hand now, and your hand is causing what happened, there's a pain on it, that, that hand will become very what? Heavy. They will not give you something to carry it. You see? You put that thing around your head. If people eh, their neck is pain in them, they will put something to hold their neck. You see that? Why do we need support? Because we can't stand by ourselves. In the same way, if you cannot stand by yourself, you are causing pain. My head does not need support because it can move by itself. My leg does not need support because it can move by itself. Anytime you are not blessed, you will cause pain. Oh Lord, bless me. I refuse to cause pain. You will cause pain among the brethren. Every day they are contributing your rent for you. God forbid. You will cause pain among your siblings. If you are the one, you are the one paying your rent. They might just respect you for one, two, three times. If you are not adding value, you are losing value. Write it just like that. If you are not adding value, you are what? You are losing value. Oh Lord, bless me. Take me away from evil. Don't let me cause pain again. That's our last prayer. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your hand be upon me. I don't want to cause evil. Neither do I want to cause pain. Bless me and bless me indeed. 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 I don't want to cause pain. Jabez said, Oh Lord, bless me. So I will not cause pain. If you are not pain, if you are not a blessed person, you will be heavy. You will be heavy. When you are heavy, you are a pain. You cause evil. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless me. In 
Jesus' mighty name we pray. As you have prayed today, so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not cause pain. Amen. Amen. You will not cause pain. Amen. And wherever you are, the last place you cause pain, you become a blessing to them right now. Amen. This is the prayer God told me in 2017. Lord, make me a compulsory subject. In the world of an accounting, you don't need to do it. In the world of an accounting, there are things to pass. A cost there must, must pass. If you get to divinity, there are costs to pass. If you are a medical doctor, you are in school, there are costs you must pass. Amen. No matter the profession in life, there's a cost you must pass. That means when God makes you a compulsory subject, people have to pass through you. Amen. This week, as we are launching to Thursday, some part of Africa is on Thursday already, the 21st day. May the hand of God make you a composite subject. Amen. As Pharaoh passes through the school of Joseph to retain his street, to, re to take family away from the land, may God make kings and queens to pass through your school of life. Amen. They will need you. Oh, you don't say amen. 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 They will need you. Amen. amen. They will need you. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible said, Jabez call upon God, right? And we say, call upon the Lord, the name of the Lord shall be what? So the Lord, the God that you don't know, you can never call upon. Are you here this evening? Or you are online either on Facebook, on YouTube. I want you to know the God that you don't know, you can never call upon. I want to give you an opportunity. Just say this prayer after me. And the Lord God will change your story. If you are here, you are here to know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I want you to pray with me. This prayer is not a prayer to be shared. As a matter of fact, you are not in church right now. You are in your house, on your computer, or on your TV, or on your Facebook, or your wherever you are, it does not matter. If you know you are having a disconnection, or you are once giving your life to Christ, but it's the disconnection. Lift up your left hand up and put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for tonight, for the opportunity that you have given to me. I know that I'm a sinner and I've come to seek your forgiveness. Let the blood of your son that was shed on the cross of Calvary be the remission of my sin. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Now, I start living my life. As I call upon the name of the Lord like Jabez, I am honorable. I begin to live a blessed life. I will not need the support of men again. Rather, I will be supporting men. In Jesus' mighty name. As you have prayed that prayer, may your life become a blessed life. Amen. You will not cause evil. Amen. You will not cause pain. Amen. The hand of God will be upon you. Amen. As you cry upon God right now, every of your enemy will turn back. Amen. According to Psalm chapter 56, verse 9. Amen. Your enemy will turn back. They will not be able to come here you again. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah.